Boom, 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 Opening boom, up boom, with boom, Adam. Hi, and welcome to Opening Up with Adam, where each episode I reveal something about myself that you might not know. So, uh, first of all, yeah, I just uh, I found this old hat that uh, I used to wear all the time. I don't know why I stopped wearing this. It's got like a feather in my cap. It's uh, pretty swanky. So, uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of a special episode today. Uh, in celebration to our American friends who got rid of a pain in their neck, I thought I'd get rid of a pain in mine. Specifically, that one right there. See that guy? That skin tag? My first reaction was to, you know, just do the old home surgery and just uh, snip snip. But uh, I, I casually asked some people, just, you know, so if I asked you this, now you know why. Just being like, if you, like, could you just cut off a skin tag? Could you just cut off a mole kind of thing? And everyone was like, don't, like, don't do it. Don't cut it off. Which, like, look, not to get into anything here, but uh, I've cut things off of myself before, and I'm okay. But if you look, it's kind of uh, on my jugular. So maybe I, maybe I shouldn't actually put scissors near there. Uh, so I went out to the store and I bought this uh, fancy kind of skin tag remover thing. And I thought, why don't we go on this journey together of home surgery? So I'm in my closet right now at my uh, my wife's like beauty desk where all the magic happens. And uh, I thought I would uh, just show you what my product is. It's Compound W, which is usually for warts, but they have a... A skin tag thing, which I think would be like, I don't know, compound S. <laughs> I'm not in marketing, so who knows, right? Uh, and it's fun because it kind of opens up like a book and it tells you all uh, well, how to do it. So I've been reading this over. Uh, maybe my glasses will help. What was I? My dog's in here too. He's uh, decided to supervise. What is a skin tag? Skin tags are non cancerous you. Growths. Skin tags are soft, fleshy bumps of tissue connected to the skin surface. You can recognize a skin tag if it contains all of the following physical features. Flesh color. Yeah. Sticks out from surrounding skin on a small, narrow stalk. I don't like the word stalk. It makes me think of, like, insects. Is that a stalk? Yeah, looks like a stalk. Soft and easy to move. Yep. Uh, painless. Well, yeah. I mean, I hurt my neck when I poked it, but that was my finger, not, not the skin tag. Do not use if you currently have or ever had had any type of skin cancer. Nope. Do not use if you are diabetic. Nope. Do not use if you could be pregnant or are breastfeeding. Jesus Christ. Well, no, but like... God, well, okay, ladies, if you're pregnant and got a skin tag on your stomach, don't use this. Please, don't use this. <coughs> Keep away from dogs, too. Do not treat any growth that is located on the eyelids, face, buttocks, penis, or vagina, or on the membranes inside the mouth, nose, or anus. Oh, my God. Skin tag, anus skin tags, mouth skin tags? Jesus Christ. So you kind of have to assemble this special magic wand. Oh yeah, first I got to put on a special little skin tag uh, shield. Oh, there's different sizes of skin tags. Large, medium, small. I'm going to go with large. Ow! Yeah, there, got it on. Oh. So weird. It's, it's very emphasized, and I don't like it. But it's going away, right? So. Watson came back from his adventure. I don't know why I got super nervous all of a sudden. Yep. Ugh. Oh, it feels weird now. Ah! 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 Freezing the applicator. Oh, it's like, look, like you press it or something. It's like, oh, wow. Do I gotta like shake it? Maybe it says don't shake it. Oh, shit, I shake, I shook it. Hold the can firmly, operate with one hand. With the other hand, press the holder down to hear a hissing sound. 
Continue to press the holder down here for two, three seconds. Remove the holder and the applicator from the can. Wait 10 to 20 seconds. The applicator may appear frosty and you may also smell some ether. Oh, Jesus Christ. You will most likely feel a mild aching or stinging sensation. Okay. All right, all right. Look. I'm scared, but we're in this together, right? So. I do smell ether. Yeah, at least I think that's what ether smells like. It doesn't look frozen. Well, yeah, okay, I guess that's frozen. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Nine, ten! Oh my god, oh my god, oh two, twenty-three, twenty-four, oh twenty-five! Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, it's like, ah, oh, it's frozen! Goodness gracious, what do I do? What do I do now? Boy, that burned. But it kind of felt good. Gently remove the target tag skin shield. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's like somebody's like nibbling at my skin. To help avoid infection, keep the treated area clean. Do not pick or scratch the treated area. Do not pull the skin tag off with your fingers. Do not cut the skin tag off. Fine. Skin tags usually fall off within two weeks after the first treatment. After two weeks, if the skin tag is not gone, apply again. After two more weeks, if the skin tag is still not gone, apply again. After two more weeks, six weeks total, if the skin tag is still not gone, stop using this product on that skin tag and talk to your doctor. Well, I guess I gotta wait two weeks. So it's been about a week and a half now, and uh, I mean, it's basically gone. There's a little bit of a scab on it. Uh, it's better than the scab that was there before, because I was showering and it it fell off in the shower. When I got out, there was a lot of blood. So I guess I'm glad I didn't I didn't cut it off, because there would have been problems. I'm glad that uh, that skin tag's finally gone. Uh, I guess that's the last we'll be seeing of him. <laughs> Don't be so sure. <laughs>